Does finger coiling work? Is it worth the hassle? Does it work on looser texture types? We are about to find out. What up y'all, my name is Janelle. Welcome back, and if it's your first time here, we do all things curly and then some. That sounds like something that you like. Make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you do not miss future uploads. I used to have this idea, and it's been talked about in the curly world, that finger coiling and things like that can help train your curls. And in some regards, there's some truth to that. Um, your hair does have memory. It's no different if you like intentionally part your hair a certain way every single day, and then over time, your hair just gravitates towards it. And then when you wanna change the part, maybe you have to get used to that same thing. Misconception with finger coiling or any technique, for example, that does help define curls is that it can potentially make hair wavier, curlier, than it actually is, and that's not entirely true. Just like with styling techniques, that kind of thing, um, you can do things that will boost your natural curl pattern, but that's all it's ultimately doing is boosting the natural curl pattern, being reinforced and guiding your curls, waves, coils into the shape that they would make naturally. A lot of people, when they have been transitioning or when their hair has been really damaged, this has been a go-to styling technique because that little bit of manipulation, it does encourage the curl to do what it would naturally do if it weren't damaged. So I'm gonna try it. Um, I'm not gonna do it all over because your girl does not have time for that. <laughs> I am all about efficiency in my routine and I just, I'm not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> but I am going to focus on the top layer. The top layer of my hair, not only is it a slightly looser um, texture than the rest of my hair, but it does also have the most damage, which is really common. Um, the top layer of our hair sees the most action. Because of that, I don't always get the clumping and the ringlets that you would see in the rest of my hair. So I'm going to try it up top. So not only are we going to finger coil the top layer, I'm actually going to try it in a different way. So originally, I've seen people take the curl like literally wrap it completely around the finger fairly tightly, then stretch it out, scrunch. The problem for this with me, I have tried it here and there with individual curls, and in general, it typically elongates my curls more than it helps them bounce into shape. But this new technique is more of a roll technique, and I think there's a chance that my hair might like it, so we're gonna try it. I am gonna start with applying the Bounce Curl Clump and Define Cream all over. This much. I always like to start underneath. Kind of smooth. So I'm gonna scrunch in a little bit underneath. Okay, so I'm mainly gonna start here. I'm gonna get this quite a bit more wet than what I normally would. Use a brush. I'm gonna get this super smooth literally squeezing it in between my fingers as I go. Like nice little ribbons. Okay, oh my goodness, I don't know what they do. <laughs> Probably I should have watched another video again. Okay, okay, is that working? That might be a little too... <laughs> okay. Okay, so just rolling in and up. Problem I'm having is my fingers are too hard. How do I fix that? I already don't like the hassle. Oh, I figured it out. Oh, I figured it out. Okay, hopefully I can do it a second time. I'm gonna hold it here for a second. Oh, I figured it out. Okay. Okay, so I was using two fingers before, like on each and doing this. And that works if you want a little bit bigger of like a barrel curl. Tuck your ends around it so it'll go up. And now I just have the two fingers in here and I'm just alternating back and forth. See, even that end just came out again. But I'm back, alternating back and forth up. And then I'm slightly twisting at the top. I get it. Okay, I'm gonna try it again with this one. I'm gonna break these up. So I've got it wrapped around this finger once and I'm bringing my other finger here and now I'm going to use them and roll up. Figured it out! So 
sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at y'all. Didn't yell at you, it was just loud. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for a second. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Again, gonna wrap the ends around one finger one. So wrapped around once, bringing in finger two and placing it right above. And then we are rolling up. And as I roll up, I'm also pinching the hair to hold it in place. I'm gonna try this with one other curl. See how this one, it's the same length of everything else, but it always hangs down a little bit lower. So it seems like if I want it to, to really take and like go ultimately frizz free, it needs to be really wet, but also being really wet makes it a lot slip, more slippery and it makes it harder for me to hold on to my ends. Wrapping it around that finger once or twice helps. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Felt like it's hanging down even lower now. Not a fan. Y'all that have been here with me and know how my grays like to act up, look at that definition. Now I'm going to add um, the Curlsmith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. Haven't tried, <laughs> tried this, this will be my first time. Probably shouldn't be trying multiple new things at once, but whatever. So we're going to, ooh. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. Smooth. I'm gonna add more. We are scrunching. Kind of surprised at that curl. I mean, it always bounces up, but we'll see. Scrunching can kind of make some of the curls lose form. So this is again, once I've added my styler, just come back in at the ends and lightly redirect. They take much, sometimes it literally just is a gentle like, boop. <laughs> I just wanna show you, just so it's clear again. So normal finger coiling. My hair's too fine, I don't have enough of it. It just, uh-uh. You can also kind of loosely direct, which is more what I do. So like see the difference in just loosely directing. All right, y'all, you know the drill, and if you don't, you're about to find out. I'm going to air dry about 80, 90% of the way, and I will diffuse for a boost of volume, and then I will check back in with y'all with some results. Boom! So, I want to preface by saying I don't know that this is overall one of my best wash day results. Hair feels really good. Like, it feels amazing. I either needed a little bit more water to really squish the jelly in, or I just needed more jelly, or it's the first time I've used it, it just might not have quite enough um, hold. Also, I just recently cut, and so this back area is the area that I've had the most damage, and it's kind of mad at me. <laughs> and as you can see, it's just being stringy. But let's talk about these finger coils, cause hello. All right, let's, I'm just gonna first bring your attention to this clump. I have to tell you, as my hair's gotten longer, I haven't seen as much spring. All my grays have way more definition. Like even this one, it's still a little wonky, but it's just like that. <laughs> a stronger hold can prevent some of the wonkiness, but for the most part, that's normal. But like, look in here, that definition, I mean, this one, I'm surprised. I genuinely cannot remember the last time I have seen this piece, this curly on wash day. Typically, even if it has a spiral, it's still hanging down like this a little bit and I kind of have to boost it up. So, does it work? I would have to say yes. Is it worth it? Depends. <laughs> if you're targeting face framing pieces or just the problem curls, it's really, once you get the hang of it, it's really only gonna add a minute or two towards the styling and I just feel like that result, that result, 
is worth it. I do it to my whole head? Absolutely not. <laughs> but for spot treating, I'm going to do it again in the future because that's just glorious. I mean, if the traditional twist around the finger and bring it down works for you, wonderful. If it doesn't, trying the finger rotation, I really recommend giving it a try if you wanna invest that time in it. Not only because of the good results, but also because you can control how big that ringlet is. So like, let's say you have bigger barrel curls and really twisting it tightly causes your waves to fall out. Well, you can spread your fingers out as you're wrapping up and it'll have a big barrel curl like it did my first twist attempt. And then of course, the closer your fingers are together, the tighter that curl is going to be. Ultimately gives you a little bit more control when you're finger coiling. Is there a different term for this? I don't know. Also, saw it on TikTok, also saw it on Instagram. I don't know, I've seen it now multiple times, so I don't know who created it. If that happens to be you or you know who that was, please comment it down below. I'll make sure to add your stuff into the description to give credit where credit is due. And thank you because really cool. I'm now pretty excited. Yeah, yeah. Just wish I didn't have these stringy bits right now, but maybe that's what I get for not committing fully. <laughs> but guess we'll never know. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is it for this video. Hope you found it fun. Maybe you learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if it was your first time here, my name is Janelle. We do all things curly and then some. If you haven't already subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Go slam that subscribe button, hit that bell while you're at it to turn on post notifications so you do not miss a thing. And I will see you next time. Bye.